Right behind me is Goodwill and we're going inside of here to find things to resell. I kind of wore my slippers and I have some good luck with them. So let's go. Okay guys, we may have just found a banger. Sometimes they bring out stuff here and put it here if it's too big, but this is something that's crazy. Comet, it's like a motorcycle whole suit, guys, but the price is really what's making us get it. We're paying $20 for this, right? I'm gonna be honest, we looked on the site, there's one on there for like 1200, so we might take a chance and it might sell for over like what, 400 bucks maybe? These types of shoes is something I'm always looking for. These Adidas, like indoor cleats. Team Mundial is what it is for $10 on this. They're gonna sell all day for like six. All right, yo, Bryce found these and these are low key bangers, I guess. Look at the floral print on the jeans, guys. This is a brand called Driftwood for everybody who is new here. Driftwood, pretty good brand. We're picking them up. They probably sell like over 30 bucks. Then we have a pair of BKEs, but these are like a woman's, but look how nice denim they are, guys. Really in clean condition. So I think those are all day over $30 too. Let's go. All right, so shorts wise, I thought these were Lululemons because usually in this print they could have it, but they are fanatics. But for $7, they fabletics, dude. Anyways, they're fabletics, not fanatics, and they sell for probably around like 20 bucks. Nothing crazy. Okay, well, guys, I would say this store was definitely an accomplishment. I mean, that right there is looking like it's really good. So let's go check out and head to the next store to see what else we can find. One hour later. We've made it. It's right behind me. That's the next stop. Let's go. All right, guys, we're in the shoes. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look promising. And I don't think we're gonna find anything, but you never know. A few moments later. So I happen to find these hokas right here, guys. Look, they are in a pink purple colorway. $20, we're gonna take a chance. Just throw them in the wash. Easy, maybe what, like 40 bucks, 30? Yeah, we're gonna take it, let's go. Brooks Brothers, it is brand new with tags. We are gonna take a shot with it, that's why I'm getting it, and it is $8. As you can tell, MSRP is nice. We're just gonna put it in the pot and rock with it. All right guys, come take a look at this one. We're in the jeans section, Brooklyn Express, but they are a baggy pair of jeans. I'm talking, if you put these on, this is like that Y2K style, we're gonna pick them up for, what is it, $12. So I think they're gonna sell for over 40 just because of the style and it's in. God damn, these are huge, bro. Two more jeans finds, guys. Miss me jeans, right? But look at the pockets on the back. Come on, these are clean embellishment, $9 for getting that. And then, yo, we found some true religions, as you can tell. The price, $9. It's getting better. Hey! We're getting out of here right now. Oh my God. We're out. Honestly, it wasn't too bad, but we really needed to get to the next stop, so let's go. There you guys are. Hey guys, we've made it. So this is the store so far, and I'm letting you know guys, we're heading out of here because we found mm -hmm. nothing. We have these Doc Martens right here, but guys, let's take a look. Shit! Bryce is looking up these jeans, and other than that, these slippers are not giving me good luck, and they're getting dirty. Yeah. We've made it to the next stop, guys. Look at that beauty. So listen up guys, we made it into the next store, shoes were ass. But we came up huge with this piece right here. If you come down here and take a look guys, most of these things with this type of writing and all that is like military gear, it's $20. This parka jacket actually will sell for probably around like $150 and I'm only paying 20. That's going in the cart. So these two pieces are also really good. Nike Tech Fleece, guys. We love picking this up for 13 bucks. That's going in the cart. And yo, Ralph Lauren Corduroy Blazer. It is woman's, but for a price of 10 bucks, you know in store that's probably over 200. So Bryce found these, but we're going with these because they actually make some money. Pelagic is the brand on these swim trunks. Really nice feeling for a good price. And then these, Huck Fishing, another pair of swim trunks for like, what is this? Six dollars on that one, so. Let's go. Wow! Listen, the new racks just came out. We were just about to check out, and these all just came out. Take a look, guys. This is what we got. We ended up picking up another military parka, but it comes with the pants, guys. Come on. And this one's even cheaper than the last one. For 15 bucks for the set, sells all day. And then this one right here, Ireland's Eye? 
I don't know, extra fine virgin wool, 699. Now I can finally check out. Ha <laughs> ha, what can I say? Two bags from that store, and honestly, the video is not done yet. To be continued tomorrow. All right, so Bryce just called and he said, apparently there's a bunch of clothing coming out at the Goodwill right next door and it's like one of the craziest hauls ever, according to him, but he's not gonna tell me until I get there. Let me go. This may have been the greatest Polo Ralph Lauren haul ever. And I didn't even find it, Bryce found it, the cameraman. Take a look guys, we have Polo Ralph Lauren Polo all over. Look at the prints guys. Polo tennis, 4X big. And this one was $13, but majority of them are a good like nine bucks, guys. Right, but take a look, guys. Look at all the prints and the patterns. Even have Indian Madras colorway as well. Then we have Polo Ralph Lauren ski team, all this, 4XL tall, and then we have a floor one. Come on, guys, and turn the camera around because we're not done. We have polo jeans with patchwork, guys. Come on, look at the price. Nine bucks, come on. And you're gonna find another pair with a great like pride colorway. We're gonna take those and then boom, even more Polo Ralph Lauren. Great sizes, $10. I just cannot believe he ended up finding all this, but we're not done yet, guys. I can keep on going and going. Look at the print, sailor print with fishes, all that, and then take a look at this one. We have a Polo Ralph Lauren Forex Big Sherpa. Clean one, right? And this price, $12.99. But we're not done yet. Remember, we got all this stuff here. Now to go ahead and take a look at the cart. Guys, this cart is completely stacked full of Polo Ralph Lauren and all that, everything. Now the reason why we're getting them all, most of them are 4X big and $9. We also have a 4X big included with linen as well, 100% linen, it just sells. But it's actually unbelievable. Bryce found all this at like, what time is it? 3 p.m. Let's go check out because I'm sure this checkout is gonna be massive. Hey, hello. Hello. Hot and cold. Hot and cold, I bet. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. No, I'm saying, I'm saying nine. Yeah, like 688. I'll tell you about that. 20. Appreciate you. We had to stop at a Salvation Army to switch it up. What's up guys? These camel pants are manufactured for the military and they tend to sell for over $25 each. There's also a huge bonus shopping here. Their prices are very cheap. Peter Millar. We love this brand and we're buying this for sure. And hold on, Flint and Tinder. These pants are all day over $30. Look at their price. I don't like this brand, but when it's new for only five bucks, I'm buying it regardless. This is another $25 right here. And this one, yeah, it's Lululemon. Here's a logo for all my resellers. These crazy Converse's were in the shoe section for only $10 and they already sold. But now I have to wait in this long line. Later. Take a look at this trunk full of stuff to resell. I honestly can't imagine how much money this is, and that is why I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway for you guys. So as you can tell, reselling is a huge aspect of my life, and one of my ways of giving back to you guys is finding items to give back. I know how hard it is to keep reselling and pushing yourself, but hopefully this one item may help you out a lot. This is a vintage Woolrich jacket with a buffalo plaid design, right? It's like 100% wool. I believe it's probably from the 80s or 70s. And this is gonna be given away to you guys. But here's the catch. You have to subscribe, like, and comment down below to have a chance to win in the next video. This might be a lucky bit to you.